Hello my dear children, how are you all? I hope all of you are doing well. Can you tell me which is your favorite season? Yes, rainy season, right? Do you love to play in rain? It's fun to play in rain, right? So, rainy season is very beautiful. It will be cold. You can sleep for a long time. Do you love to play in rain? Do you love to play during the rainy season? So, every year you have summer vacation, right? After your summer vacation, there will be rainy season. Have you ever played during rain? It is fun to play in rain. Right children? So, it is a very beautiful sight to see the raindrops falling on the dry sand. But you should be very careful while you play in the rain. You should have an umbrella with you or a raincoat. If not, you will get fever. So children, today we are going to learn a new poem named Rain in Summer. In this poem, we will see how beautiful rain is during the summer season. Are you ready to learn children? Now listen carefully, I will read the poem for you. Chapter 11 Rain in Summer How beautiful is the rain after the dust and heat in the broad and fiery street in the narrow lane how beautiful is the rain how it clatters along the roofs like the tramp of hooves how it gushes and struggles out from the throat of the overflowing spout across the window pane it pours and pours and swift and wide with a muddy tide like a river down the gutter rose the rain the welcome rain now i'll explain the poem for you so the name of our poem is rain in summer rain in summer look here children rain in summer rain in summer this is a new poem that we are going to learn rain in summer what is the name of our poem rain in summer in this poem we'll see how beautiful the rain is during summer season. Now listen carefully children. How beautiful is the rain after the dust and heat in the broad and fiery street in the narrow lane. How beautiful is the rain. So here the poet describes how beautiful the rain is. How beautiful is the rain after the dust and the heat after the dust and the heat that means during summer season there will be a lot of dust and heat it will be very difficult to go outside during summer season there will be a lot of dust and it is very hot to go outside in the broad and fiery street in the narrow lane how beautiful is the rain so children what is the meaning of broad broad means wide or with lots of space so the poet is describing the rain after the dust and heat that means during the summer season during the summer season there will be lot of dust and it will be very hot to go outside but after this dust and heat when it is raining after the summer season it is a beautiful sight it is very beautiful to see in the broad and fiery street broad means wide or with lots of space fiery means like fire what is the meaning of fiery street fiery street means during the summer season the street is very hot like fire. In the narrow lane, how beautiful is the rain? So what is the meaning of narrow? Narrow means small in width. Narrow. Narrow means 
small in width. Narrow is the opposite of broad. Narrow is the opposite of broad. What is the meaning of broad? Broad means wide or with lots of space. In the narrow lane, how beautiful is the rain? So during the summer season, when it is raining, it is very beautiful to see. I will read that stanza once again. How beautiful is the rain after the dust and heat? In the broad and fiery street, in the narrow lane, how beautiful is the rain. Did you understand children? Now, we learn the next stanza. How it clatters along the roofs, like the tram stop hooves. How it gushes and struggles out from the throat of the overflowing spout. So, what is the meaning children? When so many raindrops fall, what will happen children? It makes a clattering sound. And what is the meaning of clatters? Clatters means sounds like many things hitting one another. When so many raindrops fall down, it clatters. It makes sounds like so many things hitting together. Like the tramp of hooves. What is the meaning of tramp of hooves? Look here children, tramp of hoofs means sound of a horse steps. So the rain's sound is like the sound of a horse step. When a horse walks, there will be a sound. That sound is similar to the rain's sound. From the throat of the overflowing spout. What is the meaning of overflowing spout? Overflowing spout means to force out in a steady stream. The rain falls all of a sudden and it makes a clattering sound. What is the meaning of clattering? Clattering sound means the sound like many things hitting one another. So the poet describes the rain during the summer season. I'll read the second stanza once again. How it clatters along the roofs like the tramp of hooves. How it gushes and struggles out. What is the meaning of gushes? Look here children. Gushes means flows in a strong stream. Gushes means flows in a strong stream. It flows with a great Force. The rain water flows with a great force. How it gushes and struggles out from the throat of the overflowing spout. Did you understand children? Now we learn the third stanza. Across the window pane it pours and pours and swift and wide with a muddy tide like a river down the gutter roars. The rain, the welcome rain. So, what is the meaning children? Across the window pane. What is the meaning of across the window pane? Window pane means single sheet of glass in a window. Across the window pane, it pours and pours. It means the rain. The rain pours down across the window pane. The rain pours down across the window pane. And swift and wide. What is the meaning of swift? Swift means quick. The rain falls down quickly. And wide with the muddy tide. Like a river down the gutter roars. The muddy tide. What is the meaning of muddy tide? Yes, the muddy water flows through the gutter. Like a river down the gutter roars. The muddy water flows down like a river through the gutter roars. What is the meaning of gutter roars? Gutter roars means it is the poetic way of saying roars down the gutter. The muddy water roars down the gutter. Roars down means it flows at a high speed. 
the muddy water flows through the gutter at a high speed the rain the welcome rain what is the meaning of welcome rain the rain is called welcome rain because it gives relief from the dust and heat during the summer season now i'll read the last stanza once again across the window pane it pours and pours and swift and wide with the muddy tide like a river down the gutter rose the rain the welcome rain did you understand children did you understand the poem now we'll do an activity now look here children comprehension part answer these questions so we'll discuss the answers of these questions what are the words in the poem that describe the street broad and fiery are the two words that describe the street what are the two words in the poem that describe the street broad and fiery are the two words that describe the street the rain clatters along the roofs like the beating of drums people chatting the tramp of hooves yes we learned it the rain clatters along the roofs like the tramp of hooves fill in the blanks with describing words from the poem the rain is dash the rain is yes beautiful the rain is beautiful the rain is beautiful the lane is narrow the lane is narrow the tide is dash the tide is muddy the tide is muddy the rain is beautiful the lane is narrow the tide is muddy what is the meaning of welcome rain what is the meaning of welcome rain the rain is called welcome rain because it gives relief from the dust and heat of summer the rain is called welcome rain because it gives relief from the dust and heat during the summer season do you think the poet likes the rain why do you think the poet likes the rain yes the poet likes the rain because it brings relief to people suffering from summer heat so children i'll send you the answers of these questions as notes and you have to write it in your notebook now i'll give you a homework so children we learned the poem now you have to read the poem and send me the video of your reading exercise also we have learned some new words and their meanings you have to write all these words and their meanings in your notebook also learn them and complete the comprehension part in your notebook once you do these homeworks take a photograph and upload it in school whatsapp group see you in next class thank you children